Hey folks, here's thy daily dose of thys and these from Matthew 5.11. Oh, and by the way, I found some proof that witchcraft is very much involved in the Bible changes in these first two examples I'm about to show you. Every morning I go to my office to study, pray, and look for supernatural residue of changed verses on my to-do list. This morning I started looking at Matthew chapter 5 again. My original search gave me no results for the these and thous in Matthew 5.11. Today, however, I hit on some results. Do you want to see them? I'm going to offer some commentary on what I found if you don't mind. The first one I found was the Equinox, dated 1909, and of course there was my search that showed up. Uh, when men shall revile thee, and speak the, uh, against thee falsely. Let's open up the book and take a look. I'll be posting the link for these books in the search uh, in the message box below. Please go to them, look them over yourself, see what you think, comment the comment section. At first glance, it looks like this book is uh, a support function or uh, maybe a guide uh, for a certain school for the quote unquote illuminated. After reading further, I also find that it's uh, teaching magical gifts. But anyway, uh, our verse is found on page 18. If you look up to the top there, this is where the verse is quoted. When men shall revile thee and speak against thee falsely, hath not the Master said, Blessed art thou? Now, why would you find the Holy Scripture in a book of magic? Well, there it is. Look in the red circle there. The second one that showed up in my results, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's about magic too. Why on earth would witchcraft show up in the top two searches for what's clearly a King James Bible verse. Here's the cover page for the book, A Complete Course in Practical Ceremonial Magic. Oh, what about that? And here's our verse highlighted in yellow. Um, I do not intend to download the first book or the second book onto my hard drive. I don't want them there. Witchcraft is clearly involved in these Bible changes, folks. Matthew 5.11 Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Uh, that's as the King James is today. But the King James used to say, Matthew 5.11, Blessed are ye when men shall revile thee and persecute thee, and shall say all manner of evil against thee falsely for my sake. We've got Sermons, Volume 2, by Thomas Gisborne. I've seen some of his work and The Good Shepherd in Twelve Chapters by James Allen from 1883. I'm going to continue looking for residue on this verse. I'm sure it's out there. I just have to be diligent. And as always, folks, I'm your servant in Christ Jesus. Please like and subscribe. 